so on a tough day, and I know we all have our tough days, how do you prioritize taking care of everybody? So your sleep and your moving and your eating, how do you make those non-negotiables? Yeah, that's an interesting one. It's really hard when you are having those especially crap days to like then go to the gym because you're like, I don't, my thing is like, I don't have time. If I go to the gym for the hour, maybe I could have solved that problem yep. to turn the day around. But in reality, if I go to the gym, smash myself and clear my head for an hour, I'm always going to solve that problem way easier. Yeah, yeah. So um, I don't really have that like internal battle anymore. I'm just Good. like, no, go. I know it's going to be the best thing for me. And then I'll I'll figure it out afterwards. Mm. Um, and then sleep. <laughs> I've always just needed a lot. And I, like, I'm a nine o'clock <laughs> kind of girl. I'm a nana. Um, so, yeah, that's not really an issue. I just start falling asleep. So, <laughs> so Deb wants a rocking chair for Christmas. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, my friends all know it too. If we're all out having a potluck dinner or whatever and they see me leave at 8.30, they're like, oh, it's just Deb.